Hi friends, welcome to the channel. Today is going to be a, a haul. It's going to be a Tim Holtz vintage junk journaling ephemera style haul. I'm super excited because I have all these goodies that I got at Hobby Lobby. They have like 30, no 40% off Tim Holtz. And then I also have two little random packs of like vintage ephemera from Amazon. First time ordering from Amazon when it comes to like stationery. Actually, no, I've had, I bought a stationery book from there once, but, um, yeah. Anyway, if you're new here, welcome to the channel. If you are stationery obsessed, if you love hauls, if you just want to relax and journal and check out the, the cool ephemera pieces that I got from Tim Holtz, uh, keep watching and don't forget to subscribe. If you love videos like this, I would love for you to be here and let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so first things first, I just want to say the lighting looks weird. It's because it is. It is super gloomy. It has been very gloomy the past like four days here in Texas. And yeah, and if you're my dogs in the background, they're playing right now. So um, anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and do a quick run through of all of the things I got from Hobby Lobby. So like I said, all the prices on here are not um, what I paid. I got them for 40% off. I love Tim Holtz. If you want to see my previous Tim Holtz haul that I have, I will link it down below. And um, so the first one here is the Tim Holtz 24 double-sided sheets backdrops. And this is volume two. And that's kind of like an overview of what it looks like. It looks like that. This one is an eclectic collection printed memorabilia papers. So those are really nice. The next thing is this worn wallpaper scraps and um, a lot of pastels, flowers, and looks like this. Um, so this one's a gathering of textured, vintage-inspired, salvaged wallpapers, which is pretty cool. This one was $8.99, and this one was $10.99, but again, 40% off. And then I got all these packs with just so many different ephemera pieces. This one is layers engraving texture, and there's 76 pieces, and this one was $6.99. And this one is a curated collection of salvaged elements used for layering, and they're all black and white. And this one's pretty cool. Don't have anything like that. This next one is um, an ephemera pack of field notes, 134 pieces. Very vintage -y. Love all the colors. And this one's an eclectic collection of printed memorabilia. The next one is a salvaged tags, and you get 25 tags and three yards of string, which I thought was pretty interesting. And this one was $4.99. So yeah, it just says an assortment of vintage inspired paper tags ideal for journaling and yeah and then the last one is the another ephemera pack and this one's called keepsakes and this one you get 95 pieces and this one was originally $5.99 I feel like this would look really pretty for like Valentine's Day um an eclectic collection of printed memorabilia so yeah those are all the ones that I got at Hobby Lobby I wanted to get everything Tim Holtz but obviously you know I couldn't but anyway from Amazon I got these and I think these were um like five dollars four dollars each or something very inexpensive for everything that you do get this one just this says deco paper looks like that and then this one says deco paper as well and it comes in this cute little box I will try to link everything down below or you could just go to your local Hobby Lobby and see if they have them or wherever Tim Holtz is sold and I know they do sell stuff on their website as well and then I'll try to find these on Amazon and link them for you but anyway we're going to open up these packs and we're going to go through all of these ephemera pieces so I'm definitely going to be doing a voiceover because it's going to be a long one so let's open them up now. All right, starting off with this big paper pad pack. And these are double-sided. Very pretty, very vintage. I love all the muted colors. And there's like a lot of different text and stuff like that. But yeah, I kind of, I like the idea of them being double-sided. But then again, I kind of don't because I wish, you know, you kind of got to use one or the other, if that makes sense. The last Tim Holtz haul that I did, I did get, I think it was a pack number one or something like that. And yeah, it was the same thing. They're backdrops, double-sided, really nice. And these are very thick. They're like almost like cardstock. Beautiful colors. There's like postcards. And I wonder if some of these are actually like real pieces of ephemera that have been just like reprinted or something. But they're really cool. I love that floral one. All of those are so cool. But yeah, there's just so many to look at. There's the Harrington Spellbook or something like that. I don't know. 
I feel like some of these you could even probably frame. Of course, make cards with. They're absolutely beautiful. The next pack is this beautiful salvaged wallpaper one, which has that texture of wallpaper, which is really cool. And there's a lot of florals, a lot of pretty pastel colors, like pinks and blues. So these are the separate little pieces that are like individually cut out. And you can like just glue them onto a journal, onto a cover, whatever. A lot of beautiful flowers, different roses and stuff. A lot of pinks and blues, like baby blues and like creams. And there's quite a few different sizes as well. I really like this. I wonder if they have more like this as well with the salvaged wallpaper type of theme. I think that would be pretty cool. Let me know down below if, you know, Tim Holtz has <laughs> something else like this in a different style. I'm pretty sure he does, but yeah. All right, so next up is the actual pieces of paper of this salvaged wallpaper pack. So all these beautiful florals, very ornate details, like scroll work, just so beautiful. Definitely very vintage, looks like something that you would see on the walls in a Victorian home. That's what I get from this. Love all the little ditzy flowers and stuff, they're so pretty. Yeah, I really love that, I can't wait to use those. Next up is the salvaged tags. Pack. so you do get some string with that you could use for something else of course but the cool thing about these tags are actually double-sided and I had no idea they were double-sided but they are and that's pretty cool um, but all different types of tags you can fill them out you can leave them as they are put stickers on them yeah they're all really cool some are like for laundry pickup um, evidence <laughs> and there is like a little hole punch at the top so you can you don't have to hole punch it yourself which is nice and the tags are very well made they're made out of a very thick paper um yeah i really like that pack and next up i think this is the field notes pack so there is a ton of butterflies in here and floor like flowers and mushrooms oh my gosh i love anything with the mushroom print or like anything like that it just seems like something that pictures that you would find in like a vintage um or like an old school like science book or something but yeah there's a ton of butterflies so if you're a butterfly person definitely add this to your list and look for this pack because you're gonna love it and there's a cute little dragonfly some more mushrooms a little beetle of course there's like little bugs and stuff in here which is cute and these are like postage stamps those are really I really like those it's like a bee or a fly or something like that yeah and some more flowers they're all cut out very nicely some mushrooms a lot of these are going to be great of course to share with pen pals pocket letter friends and stationary swap friends so anybody that likes that kind of like vintage vibes that are going on. More flowers. And then there's like bigger pieces, of course. There's like little labels and stuff like that. Just so many great layering pieces. It's just so much fun. I can't wait to use all of these things in my junk journal style journal, if that makes sense. I actually do want to make an actual junk journal myself. I love watching those videos here on youtube so therapeutic and fun just takes so much talent to do one of these days hopefully this year i will get around to making my own junk journal but for now i have my journal that i use in that style but yeah and surprisingly like i i have a lot of stationery yes but most of my stationery is very cutesy um a lot of pastels a lot of like cute animals um I didn't really have much vintage themed stationery, stickers, ephemera. So yeah, stocking up. I love these. Those are so pretty. Oh my gosh, that mushroom one could be a poster. There was actually one that was like one of the bigger ones um, in that other pack, but yeah. So this is the Field Notes one. Love that one. Love how colorful it was. 
And then this one here is the black and white. It's supposed, it's supposed to look like etched ink or something. I don't remember what the pack said. But yeah, flowers, birds, all different types of animals. There was even some like nibs, like calligraphy pen nibs. I don't know if you saw those. Paintbrushes, tubes of paint, all these beautiful Victorian women and these men and different sizes, hats, bottle. Yeah, I love this one. Love the magnifying glass for sure. All the flowers and the shells the card the typewriter there's a faucet somewhere in here i think it's coming up soon i love the faucet oh, of course a mushroom and the bird cage is really cute but yeah these actually they are definitely like cardstock and they have a little bit of a shine to them i love that teacup i know that may not be for everybody oh, i love that fan too that vintage fan there's a faucet oh my gosh i love the faucet <laughs> and the like doctor bag um, but yeah, I know most people like, or a lot of people like more of that, um, like matte, not matte paper, but just like paper that's not treated. It's not shiny. This is shiny, but I love it. <laughs> okay. Next up is this pack. I don't remember the name of it, but it's just more like salvaged, um, ephemera pieces, vintage. Um... This one has like a lot of reds in it, which is kind of like why I said it would look good with um, like Valentine's Day spreads or anything. Sorry about that scratching in the background. My dog. One of my dogs. Anyway, um, yeah, I really like, oh, I love the postage stamps there. Those are cool. That hand, like the palmistry hand, the fragile, like random little pieces of paper. They're just so fun. <laughs> And there's all different like sizes. There's like smaller ones. I like that one. It's like a shirt. Kind of, I thought it was a dress form at first, but yeah. There's like little tickets and little like paste stubs and labels. Love that little butterfly one. That's really pretty. You could make those into like little flip outs. Just use some washi tape and make it into a little flip out. I really want to get one of those, um, those ink, um, uh, with like the daubers what are they called it's so, it's so that you can age your the different like papers that you use or like ephemera pieces there's a name for it and i can't think of it i want to get some of those so that's on my list of things to buy but yeah i love that little bird and some flowers of course more labels those look like the outside of like an envelope more labels I love all the different text that they would use. That kind of looked like a wax seal, but it wasn't. <laughs> I like that one. That one actually in the middle, I think I show it later. It is like cut so you can like punch out. Yeah, you can like punch out that middle part, which is pretty cool. Okay, and then the next two things are the Amazon um, deco paper bundles. So this one is just, again, vintage ephemera. Now these papers, I think this one was like six, seven dollars. And so was the other one. But um, these have a lot of different labels and you get two of each, which I like. You get two of each. Now, the paper quality is not Tim Holtz for sure. It is very thin. It's cuter than, I mean, it's uh, thinner than computer paper. So it's not like tissue paper, but, you know, just letting you know. It's not like a cardstock material. and But it does come with two each, which is nice. So you get to kind of give and take. And it also comes with sticker flakes, which is what I'm showing you here. And you get two of each, and they're like washi tape stickers. And I had no idea it came with like stickers. But that is so cool. And it literally says it on the, when I bought it, it says it came with stickers. I just forgot because I had this for a while. But there's all these beautiful flowers. There's mushrooms, there's ferns, greenery. And I love washi stickers because they're very thin and flat. So if you don't like to work with like 3D stickers or epoxy stickers, or you just kind of want to keep your journal more flat as possible, go for washi stickers because they take up the less or the least space. And there's more stickers, more butterflies and more ferns, mushrooms. I love the red toadstools. So cute. 
some like moths and stuff and different little like berry plants. Love all of these. But yeah, and then the larger pieces of paper, which are very pretty. Again, it kind of gives me very like field notes. Um, some of them looked very um, like somebody had already layered pieces of paper on it, like on the print itself, like that, which is really cool. There's a lot of like prints from like books and stuff like that with all the different like texts. Loved those like lavender flowers and sunflowers. And some of them are kind of like cut out. It's not just like a rectangle or something. Like those look like little tags. Love that one. That's an interesting shape. And yeah, you can like write on them, do whatever you want. I love all those little label ones. Those that kind of look like stamps. Oh, the mushroom ones are so cute. Butterflies. Those all kind of look like tags the way they're like cut out and stuff. You could do like a collage with these. So many different things. More mushrooms, more mushrooms. <laughs> And see, like that one was cut out a little bit differently. And those are cool. It looks like uh, burned paper, like around the edges, which I thought was an interesting concept. I feel like I don't really see that very often, but pretty cool. Yeah, it just comes with so many different papers in that little bitty pack. I don't remember from the top of my head how many pieces exactly, but I love it all. Okay, next up is the last pack, which came in this cute little package with like twine, just opening it up. Um, these are also like the previous pack. You get two of each. The paper, again, is like thin and it does come with sticker flakes. You can kind of see in the background there. I laid them out, so we'll do a little overview. Uh, clip at the end here but this one has a very interesting theme it's like galactic uh, there's like planets and stars but it's also like aquatic there's like wells and jellyfish and seashells and the pictures are just so beautiful there's like labels and stuff different like shapes and sizes the way they're like cut out I just thought this theme was beautiful and I don't see it very often I love that jellyfish there's like some like astrology and like it's celestial. It's it's very magical. That's what I love about this. I want more ephemera packs like with a specific theme. Love that jellyfish as well. But yeah, these all remind me of something you would see in a science textbook or astrology textbook from the 40s or 50s maybe. Like that right there. If you're into, what is it? Astrology? Not astrology. Um can't think of the name I can't think of oh my gosh I can't think of the name on the top of my head there's like narwhals and again more planets solar system I think that was like picture of the moon fish and all different sizes of papers I like that one that one too there's like coral and stuff like that oh my gosh the penguins are adorable but yeah I loved it just such a great variety overall and there's like seals like that one there and then we've got sticker flakes which are washi stickers and again you get two each we've got a ton of different wells there's different fish like goldfish planets solar systems very vintage i love the moon phases Ugh, love that little like telescope so cute and I just decided to lay them out so much easier. I don't know why I didn't do that before, but I love them. Okay, guys, so that is everything for this huge Tim Holtz and Amazon junk journal vintage ephemera <laughs> haul. That's like, that's a lot of words. Let me know down below which pack was your favorite. Again, check the description. I'll try to find these so I can link them for you. I'm pretty sure I can find the Amazon ones. Um, but yeah, I'm obsessed with everything. Um, it was so much fun going through each and every single item. Um, the sticker flakes, I definitely should have just, I didn't, I 
like didn't even know that these came with like sticker flakes I completely forgot I would have just organized them and then take a shot instead of showing them one by one but all the papers were so beautiful and I'm so excited to add this with my rest of my vintage um stationery so anyway yeah let me know which pack is your favorite and uh don't forget to like comment and subscribe turn on your notifications and um you can follow me on instagram and tiktok the links are in the description thank you so much for watching stay safe stay quiet and i will see you in the next video very soon bye guys